Another piece of Belvedere's manufacturing past meets the wrecking ball. While the walls came down, its history will remain. Alexis Carpello spoke with the Boone County Historical Museum's executive director. What did she tell you about the building, Alexis? Well, Eric and Hannah, I had the chance to learn more about the legacy the National Sewing Machine Company left behind. One thing the executive director made very clear is that the city of Belvedere didn't want to bring the building down. It was a, a huge part of our economy and a huge part of culture here in Belvedere. The National Sewing Machine Company was founded in the 19th century, located in Belvedere, and as Wednesday, some walls were still standing. It is sad to see the building being demolished. However, I walked through a couple of years ago, and it, sadly, there just comes a point when buildings become too hazardous. Um, they came here in the 1880s, back when every household had a sewing machine. Um, but for a long time, it was one of the it was the largest employer in, in Belvedere. I caught up with the Boone County Museum of History's executive director Anna Pavoris. She shared artifacts left behind. Of course, sewing machines of all different shapes and sizes, and. Um, for quite a, for a very short time in the early 1900s, they produced cars. Uh, the president of the company, his name was Barnabas Eldridge, and we do have his horse-drawn carriage that he imported from Paris to uh, drive around the streets of Belvedere. From cars, sewing, and washing machines, even the manufacturer's baseball team uniform. We recently found a complete baseball uniform from the 19 teens, I would guess, from probably about 1915. It's a complete national uh, baseball uniform, a little wool. I love being surrounded by our community's history and artifacts every single day, and we're very lucky to have the collection we have. There are no development plans for the over 20 acres of land. Belvedere's mayor tells me they didn't want to have to knock it down, but says it wasn't safe to leave it standing.